If you're watching this and you haven't watched the show, shame on you. I was pretty familiar with the novel, but not, you know, it's been a really long time since I read it. Frankenstein is a classic novel, so I had read it probably in middle school? I had read the book in high school. Um, it was one of those required readings. I had not read the Frankenstein novel, but I was very familiar with the classic Frankenstein film. It's an extraordinarily complex story that a lot of people have not done a very good job of translating to the screen. My mind was blown at how different the book is from every other version of Frankenstein. And it's kind of strange how no one's really adapted Frankenstein straight from the book yet. I was really taken with how well it worked because it's a series of letters that it really did serve the vlog style format. I think my favorite scene to film was the one where uh, Victoria and Iggy are sitting on the lab table and they're playing red hands. <laughs> hey Victoria, how are your hands? Are they red? Do you have red hands? Shut up! The whole like staying up late and, and tr the sleep deprivation study was probably my favorite stuff in the show, hands down. My favorite scene to film I was actually the very last scene, which is where Eli and Victoria and I are all hanging out. And I have to turn to Anna and say, It's the Vice Chancellor. It's the Vice Chancellor, isn't it? I must have done that, I don't, 20 million times. Every time Anna, she could not hold, excuse me, Anna, I love you, she couldn't hold her together. My favorite thing to do in my entire Frankenstein experience centers around the scenes with Agatha the goat, or I should say, the scenes without Agatha the goat. Come on, Agatha, let me through! You need to adjust that attitude. We will finish this later. Hey, how soon can we get that goat out of my office? My favorite moment by far was when I got to flip the table. Ah! I didn't see it all at first, but I, I heard that Anna Laurie and, and Steve Zaragoza were, were hanging out off stage, and they watched it, and they were legitimately scared of me from then on. One of my favorite scenes to film was the finale, because we had all the stunts happening, and that was really cool, but it's also just a super intense scene, and scariness with Evan running through the camera, and all of the emotions and dramatics that happening in the last scene. For any actor, if you get to fulfill a romantic arc, have great emotional dialogue, die tragically, and do a stunt? Are you kidding me? Like, mic drop, you're done. The finale stunt was, uh, it was something else. I, I wasn't quite sure what we were gonna do to pull it off of, of me grabbing Brendan and then throwing him across the room into the boxes and then grabbing his neck and, and lifting him up. I just kind of went like this and he flew across the room and I went, I am Superman. So the bane of my existence is General Franco and Thomas Morgan because those were names I had to remember like back to back almost for that one moment. Do you know how many fruit flies Thomas Hunt Morgan had to go through? He's like General Franco to that. We had to do the blood gag and so there was a lot of pressure on him because we only had one take with that and so the cameras are still rolling and he has this one line he has to say and he could not get it out. How many fruit flies Thomas Hunt Morgan? <laughs> it must have been like General Morgan to him. Franco. He's like General, like General Franco, Franco too. Yeah. Do you know how many fruit flies Thomas Hunt Morgan had to go through? He's like General Morgan to them. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god! General Franco! You hear Brett yelling in the background, just get it! Just get it! General Franco! It's General Franco! And I was thinking, I was like, think of James Franco! Think of James Franco! And then I said James Franco in one line, I think. <laughs> Preparing for drama, like traditionally, I've done theater my whole life, and so. It was really helpful for me when we could start the scene back a little bit and we would get into it. And that is just where I think I find the emotions are in all of the action where they happening, which is hard because in film you're doing it one little tiny piece at a time. There's one super emotional episode and Brendan, Bradley, and Kevin Rock, they were like so great at like just starting the scene and letting it roll. And Kevin Rock especially, there were so many scenes where I, you know, I have all of this dialogue and I've been acting all day and like, and he came in and he was pitch perfect every time with his lines and everything. And so I ugh, appreciate it more than I think they probably know. It's just like so important to have good co-stars. What was it like working with Anna? It was a nightmare. She was a total diva. She was just like, ah, oh, where's my coffee? The first rehearsal we'd ever had and he, <laughs> Set, like was like making a joke in the background and I turned around and quietly just said keep your shit 
opinions to yourself. I didn't even hear what he said. No, she's great. I love Anna. And he just burst out laughing. Like it was the funniest thing I ever heard. I was like, all right, this is gonna work. We're gonna get along. <laughs> Once I was part of the cast, uh, they still shunned me. Uh, they was. They told me it was part of the character building process. They said it would help me. I, I don't really know how it did. I, I went home crying myself to sleep a lot. Um, but overall, they're, they're a great cast. I've been on a lot of projects where maybe there's like a member or two of the cast that doesn't, you know, get along or vibe as well, but um, everybody really just same wavelength. Everybody had a great time. Even though I came late, they were all very welcoming and, and very excited to be working with me. And I just felt that warmth and, and love right at the beginning. We had such limited days on set, we really didn't get to interact a whole lot in person. I did feel that sense of a real family and a real team. Just moments on the set and just becoming a part of the Pemberley family is just my, my absolute favorite memory. It's something I will cherish for a very long time.